Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Hopefully you're still having a fantastic summer. I know I am. Um, I'm not doing summer school robotics anymore, so yeah, I'm a free man. Uh, but anyway, today's video is gonna be about a Lego Mindstorms EV3 wall follower and the program. You're gonna have to check this out. So a couple of things to be mindful about when you do this uh, wall following program. Number one, um, try to find something that is good uh, reflective. In the video, you're gonna see that I tried to use tin foil. Um, it didn't really necessarily make that huge of a difference, um, but the, your ultrasonic sensor definitely relies on good reflection. Um, I know wood sometimes doesn't give the greatest reflection, so I'm testing out the tin foil, but from the video, it looked like it was okay. Um, you also need to be mindful of your speed. If you try to go too fast, sometimes the robot angles your ultrasonic in a, in a certain way that it's not going to get the best reflection back. So you're going to need to go slow enough so that you can keep your ultrasonic sensor to the point where it can still receive a signal back. And a third thing that I learned is that you need to, um, I, I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but I try to keep my ultrasonic sensor level. I know you can keep you know, it level and sometimes you can flip it up. I noticed it wasn't working that great when I had flipped it up. So I tried to get it in a certain way so I can keep my ultrasonic sensor level um, and not flip the other way. So I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference, but for me, it made a difference in the way my robot performed. So what I'm gonna do now is take you to the program and then I'm gonna take you to the actual robot to show you how it uh, wall follows. Okay, I've opened up my Lego Mindstorm software here and I'm going to go to my flow control. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring up a loop. Whoa, it just disappeared. All right, let's do that again. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a switch inside of it, like so. I'll go ahead and drop this down so you can see this better later. Uh, but let me just go ahead and finish this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my ultrasonic sensor, compare. I'm going to set this up for centimeters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to 2, so greater than. And I'm going to switch this to 10. So if the robot sees um, an object more than 10 centimeters away, it's going to activate this program. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up two steering blocks, one right here. I'm going to put one right there and we're going to just turn this on, both of them on. So um, you can play around with the angle here, but obviously the smoother you want the line or the wall follower, the less you're going to need on this angle here. So I'm going to make this for 10 and this is going to be a negative 10 and I'll explain this in a second. Um, I've learned that you don't want your motor speed too fast because if you do, then um, it's going to create um, these angles where it's going to be hard for the ultrasonic sensor to see. So I've learned to drop this to 20. Um, it works for 10, but 10 I think is maybe a little too slow. So 20% is good. So let me go ahead and recap this whole program here. Um, if the robot ultrasonic sensor sees an object greater than 10 centimeters, um, what's going to happen is it's going to move the robot away from the object at, uh, at this 10 degree angle at 20% motor speed. If it becomes over, um, if it becomes over 10, it's going to bring it back. It's going to bring it back to the object. And that's what the negative 10 is for at 20% speed. So you, in the video, you should see the robot kind of going in and out, you know, getting closer, getting farther away until it hits this magical 10 centimeters uh, distance. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple program. Oh, yeah, I told you I would uh, see if you can see the whole entire thing here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and download this to the robot. And let's go ahead and check this out.
Okay guys, so hopefully you like the wall follower. The program is super uh, basic and simple. And you know, for your own certain situation, you can mess with the numbers. But you know, when you want that wall follower smooth, you just gotta be careful to keep that angle as low as you possibly can. If you make it too much, then it starts to get really out of control. And then also again, your speed. Just make sure you watch your speed so you're not going too fast and then getting your uh, ultrasonic sensor out of whack where it's not getting a good reflection back. So if everything works out, awesome. Hope you guys are still having a great summer. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out.